You want me to give you a blow job? Like a Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go! Welcome to our website with Freddy G. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are great. Oh, your God. <laughs> to all the returning subscribers, welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you very much for sticking up to my channel and being here and listening to what I have to say. And to all the new subscribers, shout out to you. What do you do? Mukhaitu Jumela. I go by the name of Freddy G. Rather. What are we talking about today? As per title of the video, as per title of the video, we are talking about the after nine, rest after nine, uh, DL edition. So I didn't know what a DL is, but my friend told me it's like the download. You know, like those after nines, the after nines were just quiet, but the after nines were like download and uh, taking, um, what is this? Um, Banyanye fats are instant one. Banyanye fats are the gay people. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, they, 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 in a way, discriminate on daylight. You understand? Daylight, DL. Daylight, day act straight. You know? So DL can mean daylight, can mean down low. You know? You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, that's what's happening. Uh, that's what uh, is uh, the. Woo! The video, the DL edition. That's what we're talking about. The after nines address. So I went to a rest uh, where it was a lot of art students, and you know when you talk about art students, obviously we're going to talk about a lot of LGBTQI community people, uh, where we had all the different types of from the letters. You understand? Um, so if you don't know what LGBTQI stand for, uh, Google or it's like lesbian, gay, L G. B, bisexual, LGBT, T, transgender, LGBT, uh, Q, queer, uh, I, intersexual, I, LGBTQ, I, A, asexual. So we had an asexual address that I knew of. I, I don't know. L, G, L, we had. G, we had. T, we had. B, we had. LGBTQ. Q we had obviously QI. The I is not this the one that I'm not sure of, but the A we had, the asexual person. A lot of asexual people were in Acadia. It's like those people who are um, not attracted to anything, they just want their books. But anyway, uh, and we also had the after nines. You understand? Maybe the A should be for after nine. The LGBTQIA. That A must be after nine. Really? Because wow. And so what happened is that, so this is the story. Let's start with the story, guys, because we've been talking absolutely nothing. This happens one day at rest. I'm a first year. I don't know a lot of people. Uh, okay, I didn't have a roommate by then because my roommate came later. So we're chilling and we, I, I was one of those people who went to the kitchen to cook late. Because we had dress, uh, we had I mean activities during the day and uh, late around six, seven, eight activities and studying and wah 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 wah. So I used to cook around 10, 11, like super super late. So that's what I used to do. So I cook, I finish, and then uh, so probably this guy, this afternoon after nine guy, have been looking at me, uh, you know, for some time. Because I don't think you just zugela umuntu because you don't know if that person is gay or not. You understand what I'm saying? So he saw me and then we're not mentioning names, I mean, so we're going to say this person is, uh, what are we going to say this person is, we're going to say, you, I almost said something, and we're going to say this person is Sitar, I'm looking at a tree, Sitar, so Sitar, I think he's been looking at me, but this person make like very really funny comments about gay people, you understand what I'm saying? And it's, it's just I didn't pay attention to that because really me I don't I don't I don't like to entertain negativity in my life. That's one thing about me. I cooked uh, around ten, finished, and then after that I'm there um to you know I'm there cooking I'm done, and then I went to sleep. So I went to sleep around twelve. Around 12. You know, Mount Gena in Gubeni, like you don't just fall asleep. So I'm still busy on my phone, scrolling on my phone, wah, 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 wah. One, around half past one, I'm about to, you know, sleep. So when I'm just about to, to bump that broko, it's a knock. Gung, gung, gung. Okay. Open the door. 
this car, I was sorry. So sorry is a senior. You understand? I was sorry. Okay, what about what's wrong? Um, you know, you know when you're a first day, you become very panicky when you see seniors. What's wrong? Uh, did I do anything wrong? He's like, no, no, no. What's up? I'm like, I'm okay. How are you? He's like, I'm okay. He's like, is your roommate here? I'm like, no, I don't have a roommate yet. He's like, oh, oh yeah, you don't have a roommate yet. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, am I getting a roommate? So I'm asking, I'm trying to understand why is this person here at around two o'clock a.m. Do you understand? He's like, no. Uh, do you have food? I'm like, do I have food? I'm like, okay. And I'm asking myself, like, why this person want food from me at 2 a.m.? Do you understand? And then uh, he's like, yeah, I'm like, so in my mind, I'm like, okay, let me try to be positive. Maybe Umdu Anabandu is hungry. You understand? And I just cooked. So I'm like, yeah, I do have food. I hope you don't mind my food. You know, because uh, you are thinking, like, okay, maybe seniors like eat. You know, like your McD's, your, your Nando's and shit like that. I just cooked like basic food. Like I cooked, I think, pap chakalaka and meat. I remember. So yeah, I welcome him in. Okay, Ken. Okay, he comes in and I'm like, okay, you can sit down. I offer him a chair, my study chair. And then he sits down and then I dish up for him. And then, okay, I give him the food and then I... I on top of the bed and then I'm like okay sharp okay let me just try and make conversation you know because this person is a senior and I'm like okay so uh, like how's the senior side um how was your first year were you experiencing the same thing what was difficult about your first year you're not trying to just make conversation with a senior because the senior is hungry you don't know hungry for what but uh yeah he did his very chilling on the chair and then he's eating and then you would just try, I'm just trying to make conversation, you know, not to make things awkward. I'm just there trying to make conversation. Okay, let's make conversation. Wah, wah, wah. What's happening? Ah, okay, was like, no, man, come on. Um, let's try not to make some silly conversations and get straight to the point. Straight to the point? What are you talking about? You know, I'm, I'm a bit lost. Like, what are you talking about? I'm like, straight to the point, what? Like, you want to finish food and leave? Like, what, what, what's straight to the point? Like, elaborate. He's like, no, the thing is, I've been looking at you, and I think I like you. I'm like, what? No, man. Like, don't you have, like, a girlfriend? Because I know that person have a girlfriend. And sometimes during the day, you will see them holding hands with their girlfriend and shit like that. And I'm like, don't you, like, have a girlfriend? He's like, yeah, I do have a girlfriend. Is that a problem? I'm like... What's happening in Pretoria? Like during the day, people are holding girlfriends at night. Like, what, what, what? you understand what I'm saying? I'm asking myself this question. I'm like, I think I'm a bit lost. What's happening here? So I'm that first year, like, so dumb. I don't know what's happening. I need you to explain to me, like, you're explaining to like a grade two or a grade one. Like, what is happening? He's like, no, my guy, no. Um, can you give me a BJ? I'm like, ha! Huh! This guy, you want me to give you a blowjob? Like a... No, man. Like, that's an insult. Like, you can just come into my room, ask for food, and you tell me that, let's go straight to the point, and you ask me to give me a BJ? Like, if these people have been doing that to you, not here. Brika! Brika! I'm like, my guy, please stand up and get out of my room. Please stand up and get out of my room. I am, like, I was traumatized, guys. Like, I was super, super traumatized. Like, I was, hey, Luna, you don't understand. I was traumatized. I'm like, what is going on here? What is, like, what's going on here? Do you understand? I'm super traumatized, and I'm like, why would this guy say that? Do you understand? Like, what do, do I look like I go around giving people BJs? Like, why like i felt so insulted i felt so i don't know like how that person made me feel do you understand you can't just come into someone's room and say give me a bj like is this what people do here is this what gay people do on a day-to-day -day basis like i started asking myself a lot of questions because remember that i'm a first year i don't know really 
how the gay community leads, how the gay community maneuver things and stuff like that. And then um, I had a conversation with one of my uh, seniors at campus who is also part of the LGBTQI. And then I asked him, what this thing happened, this thing happened, this thing happened, this thing happened. Wow, 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 wow. He's like, oh, Freddy Shem, welcome to Pretoria. I'm like, what do you mean, welcome to Pretoria? He's like, no, there's a lot of those people here. You see at the rest that you stay at, this person, this person, this person, uh, also try the same moves on me and this person. I'm like, but those people are straight. He's like, yeah, they're straight during the day. And at night, they're just there knocking on people's rooms. But really, we don't have time to be exposing those type of people because... Uh, man, I'm like, so there are people who really give them, it's like, yeah, there are people who really give them, there are people who really, you know, sleep with those people at night, and then during the day, they act like nothing happened. I'm like, what? It's like, yeah, I'm like, yo, that's hectic, guys. That's like hectic on another level. And then that's when I got exposed to like, you know, your after nine, who were like during the day. So now I started taking looking at people like oh, oh okay that one also he's an afternoon they're like yeah he's an afternoon because you see now he has to be with the girlfriend the girlfriend have no idea guys it was a lot it was a lot when whereby yeah at least other people came out like in your b-tech other people only came out after varsity other people but i just realized on how it, it takes time for other people to come out. You know, other people don't come out immediately. Other people will come out as like your after nine. Other people will just come out as I'm bisexual first. Other people will just, boom, I come out. Other people will stay as after nine until they die. That's how sad it is. But anyway, man, that's my story. With my first time experience with an after nine. Now I knew who are after nines. I knew how to handle them. Uh, he's like, no, if you don't want it, just say, get out of my room. You know, if you don't want it, sometimes even after 12, don't open the door. Because the rest of the day you stay at, there's a full of after nights when it's like midnight. It's like, see, I'm like, we're going to knock at these people's rooms and stuff like that. So I started knowing better on how to handle them. So yeah, man, you know, be patient with other people. Other people are like after nines for some time up until a certain point and then they come out. Other people start as bisexual people and then they come out. Other people just come out in jail. Other people are just, they just prefer to be after nines. That's what they prefer and that's what they want, really. And that's what makes them happy at the end of the day. I'm not such a skinny, keepy person when it comes to this kind of things like sexuality and stuff. So guys, don't mind when I keep on looking at the side. Uh, I'm going to have load shedding any minute now. So I just wanted to record this video and finish because I have to be somewhere. And then after that somewhere, uh, it's going to be load shedding and then... I have to really release this video because I felt like uh, a lot of first years are going to rest and then they're not going to be exposed to this type of things. So it's an, in a way, lesson on like, this is the type of things that you're going to experience. So don't be panicky, don't be scared. Uh, you're not, uh, you're not taking this cheap and stuff like that. It's just the people who have certain emotions, they have th a certain things of expressing them into other people. During the day, they hate it because they see you leading this life that they wish that they could live. So anyway, thank you very much for listening to my video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you have experienced this or maybe if you feel like I should have handled uh, this uh, situation in a different manner. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. I go by the name of Freddy G. Wagamani, so don't forget to follow me on all my socials. Love you guys. See you on my next upload.